So, we are on our way to Matt Franco's house. He agreed to do the documentary with us. I'm looking forward to meeting him. I can't believe he agreed. Yeah, I was shocked when he said he would do this. He hasn't been in the public eye for so long. Yeah, like, I, I used to be a fan, and now... Yeah, now he's just... Now he's agreeing to meet with us. That's kind of crazy. And it looks like we're pulling up here. Yep, we're pulling up right now. Dude, Dude don't show his fucking address. Fuck, shit. Holy crap. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, too. This is... We're meeting Matt Frank. Like... Hi. 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 Oh, what happened to your hands? What are you talking about? Well, it's nice to meet you. Come on in. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Come on in, come on in. This is a... Come on in. Please, come on in. Hi. What's up? Let me taller. So not whenever you feel ready. So Matt, tell us about being a child prodigy. What is there to it, man? You know, you're a child, so you know nothing, next to nothing, really. Except for one thing. And what's that? Well, it's what you're a protege at. It's not prodigy, it's protege. Um, and you're the greatest that's ever been at that. The goat of sorts. You're not a woad, but the goat. A goat would be the greatest of all time, G-O-A-T. And a woad would be not the greatest of all time, W-O-A-T. What's the W stand for? Not the greatest. Can you tell us about the accident? <sighs> The accident. Well, we were in the car and we were heading back from a, I think we were teaching the London Symphony Orchestra, a new piece that I had written. Wow. Wow. I wrote that, you know? And then out of some cruel twist of fate, father decided to let mother drive. What the fuck does that mean? Mother's legally blind, and she forgot her glasses on the day. Oh. Oh. What did you think it meant? Women can't drive? That's very sexist of you. Small-minded. Makes sense you're not a protege. Next thing you know, we're being rear-ended by an 18-wheeler in a small Honda Civic. And how did this lead to the part of you getting a guitar shoved up your rectum? Well, we were in the car. And I was sitting down, and I was checking the strings. It was behind me in the trunk of the car. Um, and then as we got rear-ended and then front-ended, the combination, the, the cruxing motion of us getting in the car, and then I woke up in the hospital. Right. Stiffer than I was before. So what was it like having a guitar inside of you? At first, unfathomably painful. And then, it was almost tolerable. So what was rehab like? Um, which one? Physical rehabilitation? The rehabilitation was difficult. It was a 12-step process, um, which started with me first admitting the problem, talking to other people with similar problems, you know, a lot of group sessions one-on-one -on -one sessions. Found the voice of God at one point, and he came to me and he told me we had to get better, we had to fix it. And this is all part of your physical rehabilitation? Yeah, this was how I learned to walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the highest level of education you completed? I never went to school. Before the accident, I was a protege. Um, so I never really had the need to go to school. Because what, what were they going to teach me, you know? Did and you have any friends? After the accident, 
I spent most of my time in the hospital and other therapies. Friends, you don't need friends when you are the best. Friends are for meek people who are bad at things to feel good about themselves. I didn't need to feel good about myself because I was the best. You ever consider that this is a coping mechanism for never having friends? You ever consider never having friends? Asshole. B5. Can we go to bed now? Can we sleep? Please? Nice. Nice. It's been a long time since I got to sleep next to someone. Let alone two beautiful pieces of ass. Ugh. So, as we start your process to becoming a child prodigy again, let's see how well you can play right now. Um, E minor chord maybe? Um, are we filming in here? In here, out there. We're, we're gonna do your thing outside. Outside? Yeah. Like outside of the house? Yeah, like outside of your house. Okay. Are you ready? I don't- for what? Are you ready? Sure. Are you ready to train to be the next prodigy at guitar? Yes. Oh, you were gonna hit me. Okay, now stop drop 20. Happy juice, stop drop 20. I, I can't do that. <laughs> Can we involve this somehow? Probably. Chicken frothy. Can you tell us about the cast? What cast? What's the deal with your birthmark? Oh, this? Yeah, that birthmark. I was marked by God. A protege at the guitar. What's with this third degree? You're talking about an imaginary cast. It's incredibly frustrating. funny about this the guitar was in my rectum for 10 years and it has just now come out and I'm trying to relearn how to play it and I want to share that with you because you're my mother what's funny about it I was mortally wounded I was in a state of disrepair I was crippled no we were in the car 
I was reaching around, cleaning the neck of the guitar because it was behind me, and then we got rear-ended by a semi-truck and rear-ended a Honda Civic, and next thing I know, I'm waking up in the hospital with a guitar fully inside of my asshole. I don't know, mother. How did it? How did your driving cause a guitar to go in my bum? It doesn't make sense, and yet it happened. So when I'm done my training and I've remastered the instrument, can I come to your house for dinner and show you what I have relearned? Thank you, mother. So Matt, where are we headed to right now? We're we're off to get my sister, and then we're gonna we're gonna go to our mom's. I'm really excited. It's been a long time since I played for my family, and I'm I'm really happy with the progress I've made. I definitely not where I used to be, but I think they'll really be proud to see the change and growth I've made as a player since the accident. So I'm really, I'm like a little emotional about the whole situation. So it's, it's fun. It's good. To an Irish accent, but I can tell you when someone does a bad Irish accent. Oh, you're not very good at hearing. You support? To an Irish accent. I can't. Sersha. Sersha. My wife, Sersha. My wife? She's in her you early correct? 30s. Jesus Christ. No way. I don't know how this is going to go at all. I'm really freaked out about this. Well, you could probably benefit from practicing a couple of times unless you just want to try and go in wrong. Mom! A guitar for oh, that's so Just good. for a bit. That's really pretty what you've done with the couch, like, Parker. Is the camera mm -hmm. working? Yeah. Thank you all for gathering in the basement for this. It's been a long time. I've relearned the guitar though. After many years of not playing due to a severe guitar related injury that has left me going through many different therapies, physical, rehabilitational. <laughs> rehabilitational. Rehabilitational. And I can now play again. <laughs> like as a child. Fabulous. As a child, Matt got into a lot of trouble. There was a lot of there was a lot of difficult moments with Matt. We were just glad to see him make it to his teen years. So how did the accident impact you as a family? It was devastating. It was devastating to everyone. And they hide their pain well, don't you think? But getting over the shock of the initial accident and, and the prognosis seemed to just hit everyone out of nowhere. So to see him back with us like this is just, it's hard to put into words really, but we couldn't be happier. Cheers, you guys. Thanks for everything you've done for me this past week. I tried. Oh, you tried. Prodigy? Prodigy? It's been a long ass. time. It's that been a long time. You played Weezer for your grandfather. You know what? You were better at playing when the guitar strings were in your ass. What are you good at? 
Nothing. Better at guitar than you are, bro. You don't have a job. You don't have a lover. Yes. <laughs> you job. don't have anything. You don't have a girlfriend. Do you have a job, ma'am? I have a job. Do Not you have long. a job? I need the guitar.